The next scenario will be demonstrated by Marianne and Alex. Marianne is on her back and Alex between her legs choking her. What Marianne should be concerned now is that basically she has only a few seconds to breathe before she's going to lose consciousness because if we choke her, uh, is blocking the blood circulation and the air supply to her brain. Then she has to act as fast as possible. She bring her fingers together as close as possible to the groin to create momentum and from there she's shooting her hands all the way up between his hands as close as possible to her face creating triangle. If you notice this is a triangle that going through his hands, since her shoulder wider than her neck, obviously, then it's open automatically, no matter how strong is the guy. At the same time, she's working her legs, meaning at the same time that she's creating this triangle, she's inserting her feet in between the legs and spreading her legs at once. The attacker is lose his balance. As soon as he loses balance, she is, can proceed to the next move. As the attacker collapses, Marianne moving both hands simultaneously, one behind the head to the other side, and the one on the bottom going to the other side of the nose. The hand behind the head is pulling, the hand on the nose is pushing to create a counter force, which turning the head, which turning the body, which lead her to be on the top position. As soon as Marianne rolled her attacker, she is moving to the top position. From that stage, she's lifting her knee and at the same time moving her hand up to generate momentum. She's going with an open hand and palm to the nose. Right after that, she's standing up, bringing the knee to the chest to create momentum, and again with the knee to the nose and leaving the scene. 